What is that? I don't think I ordered that. Tony, I think this is for you. What did you Come order? <laughs> Stop playing around. <laughs> Okay, where are you? Oh, there you are. <laughs> right, let's get rid of that. Today we're going to be looking at some Rigid Industries lights and some mounting solutions for our Jeep JL. Um, recently we've been on some trips and our friends have been making our little spotlights look Mm, well, small. <laughs> um, so we decided we need to up our game. We've ordered the DSS Pro. Um, these are the D-series side shooters. So obviously you get the forward projecting lights, but we also get some LEDs on the sides, which help um, cast a lot of light to the sides um, while you're on the trail. These we went for Specifically because they were the side shooters, and we plan to we plan to mount these uh, just at the bottom of the windshield. So we've got these amazing mounts as well, also from Rigid. So let's take a look at the lights first. So when you buy a pair of these, you have. Um, the lights themselves and you get the LEDs, three LEDs that are the side shooters um, on one side of each light and on the side and they're on the opposite side. So this will be mounted on the left hand side of the vehicle and you're not blinding yourself with this light. They come with a pressure relief valve here so when they get warm the pressure's got somewhere to go. Um, everything is moisture proof and dust proof, really well built. The powder coating is top quality powder coating. This isn't gonna fade in the sun. We've got some cheap lights that we brought just for on the side of our roof rack. They were cheap Amazon lights and they just don't stand the test of time. They, they come with the Deutsch connectors um, built in. And you also get the wiring loom if you need the wiring loom. A switch there as well. So you get a little rocker switch for your dashboard, illuminated I assume. You've got all the necessary wiring, plenty of wiring, relay, connectors, inline fuse. So good to go if you haven't got the the switches that we have. We will be wiring them straight to the auxiliary switches on our Jeep JL Rubicon. But this is all in the box if you need it. Just some very basic wiring skills are needed, um, nothing else. Let's do the light, I'll leave that in the packet for now. And then underneath we've got Rigid's standard stainless steel bracket, a UK bracket, which I'll open one of these up and show you these if you've never seen them before. Got all the hardware in there that you need, um, coat bolts and hex head bolts, an actual bracket and these brackets just slide inside and you can mount your lights on um, any flat surface like this you can also mount them on a vertical surface like that super easy really durable nice and thick stainless steel it's not going to go anywhere you get two of those one for each light and some stickers some instructions and a little catalogue in there for, um, for your next purchase. <laughs> to go with our lights, having an orange Jeep, we went for the little um, protection covers in orange. These are polycarbonate covers and they just, oh, they look so good. 
They're polycarbonate, they're going to protect from impact. These lights are rated for up to 50,000 hours, so they're very high quality LEDs inside, they don't mess around with it. They're not cheap Chinese LEDs, these are very, very high quality. Made in the US. So we got these in black, they're also available in white, so if you've got blingy white Jeep. <laughs> um, I think really the white ones are very popular with the boat community, so boats, yachts and stuff like that, um, they go well with those. Most of the Jeep and the off-road community, um, bikers, all that kind of business, um, tend to go for the black ones. The lenses are high impact polycarbonate. They're IP rated, IP68 rated against dust and the moisture. Um, so you can be confident out on the trails. Doesn't matter what abuse you're gonna put them through, they're gonna stand up to it nicely. As far as light output, it does depend on which model you buy. We brought the floodlight, there's a spotlight, and there's a driving light. The driving light is the brightest and is up to 128% brighter than the previous version. The ones we've got, the floodlight and the spotlight also, is around 100% more light than the previous version. Now let's have a look at the coal mounts. These are new mounts, they're JL specific. If you saw the video, the um, Alex from Buzz, we did a walk around of his um, Jeep JL with the AEV conversions um, at the um, 4x4 Expo show. If you saw that, you saw these curl mounts and these lights, or one version of these lights. Um, and all the uh, again, we've got some stickers and instructions and then book it. Um, oh, so there's the instructions. And we've got the curl mounts themselves. So these are very, very nicely fabricated. They've got enough room for two different lights. So this is the orientation you would have them on, on the Jeep. You can have a light up here and then you can have a light down on the side also. Um, we are just gonna have a light on the top. These are pretty lightweight, aluminium, nice and thick. They have a short arm mount, which you can put in different positions. And all the other stuff is there's some spaces, which I assume go between the bodywork and the mount. So that kind of levitate slightly off the bodywork. And all your hardware, all nice stainless steel hardware. They're a really, really nice solution to mounting the lights. They look good on the vehicle. Well, I think they look good, They're very purposeful, but very, very strong as well. So enough of me talking about the lights. Let's mount them and see how they look. found a nice little dark lane to test the lights. This is the headlights as they are. That's full beam. The headlights, full beam. And if we put the spotlights that we already had, showing, they 
go down the road, that's quite quite good. You're going fairly fast obviously. Um, and then the floodlights that we just fitted on the pillars. So just without the spots. As you can see the floodlights um, they're really casting the light very very close and all the way around. Um, really covering the sides very well. Okay, so we found a wider little area just to show the spread of light between the two. This is the headlights, this is the main beam, and then you can see when I put the two auxiliary lights on, there's quite a bit of difference. <laughs> it's quite a good spread to take the main beams off. The main beams are still good for distance, but I guess that's what they're made for. And, um, when you're off-road and you want to see all around you these are lights, these rigid A-pillar lights the uh, side shooters are amazing oh, Hello, uh -huh. be, no be nosy <laughs> Yeah, just having a look yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I really like them yeah. Do you want to try this yeah. one? Really good. <laughs> yeah, really big, bigger than I thought. Yeah, I made them other ones look small. Mm. These are going to look great on the Jeep. So, what do you buy? You'll find out later. Oh, okay. <laughs> or, or you won't. <laughs> oh, I'll find out at some point. Right then, looks like we've got the wife's seal of approval. If you like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you in the next one. See, see ya! ya.